Today, I'm going to show you how to link Wavelink with your Stream Deck so that you can control everything, particularly for streamers, with a tap of a button. If you're looking for an all-in-one guide on how to set up Wavelink, I have a separate video on that. This is just the integration between Wavelink and the Stream Deck software. No fiving around, let's dive into it. So a quick rundown of everything that we're looking at here. We have the Wave 3 microphone, which is this guy right here. And I currently have the voice focus mode turned on, which is a brand new addition by Elgato, and it is a game changer for anybody looking to get really good audio without worrying about EQ and stuff like that. There's also a couple of other effects thrown in here for good measure, but for the most part, voice focus does everything you need it to do. And I have a couple of voice changes down here, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Then we have my system audio, which is Google Chrome, VLC, things like that. Then we have the Elgato 4KX, which is one of my gameplay audio. We have music, which at the moment is just Spotify and voice chat, which is Discord and WhatsApp. Now I don't have any effects applied in here. I do in OBS, but not in Wavelength. So we're not going to worry too much about this but that is how i have my stuff configured now how do we link all of that to the stream deck because that's a lot of buttons and a lot of things to adjust well there are two ways of going about it the first of which and it's definitely going to be easier for people who are new to the stream deck is just to tap this button here and that will open up your own profile that controls everything in wavelength directly from the stream deck itself but as good as it is and as much as i appreciate elgato putting in like a simple tap to add everything function i do like the ability to customize stuff and that's what this whole series is about so this is what i'm going to be teaching you how to create today and it may look a little bit intimidating for anybody again who is new to the stream deck but i promise it's pretty simple once you get the hang of things i've also made a separate version of this using the normal stream deck but again you can see that without the dials it looks a little bit weird and it's kind of annoying to adjust volumes because you can't really monitor it easily so the top three buttons this one this one and this one control the music that i play on spotify now to get these set up you're going to want to download the spotify plugin by bar raider if you don't already know how to download plugins you open up this little button right here that will open elgato's official store where you can just type spotify and there's one made by elgato but that's only for mac so you're actually going to want this one here by bar raider click onto it and then there'll be a blue button just here tap that and it will download the plugin for you once you've got that one installed you have a little bit of a setup process just connecting spotify to the stream deck probably takes two three minutes at most and and uh, you're good to go. If you don't know how to add the little buttons, all you're going to want to do is open the Spotify plugin window right here by typing in Spotify. Find an empty space. We have three right here. And then we're just going to go play pause, put that one in the middle previous song next song and for the play and pause button once you've got it all set up you're just going to go ahead and select your device this guy right here and voila you have spotify set up now these three right here are folders that contain different things these are a collection of voice changes so if we open this one up we have a couple here just for an example let's do the robot auto tune effect we're going to turn it on you can tell my voice automatically changes which is pretty cool turn that one off and let's go for the pit boy and now effect turn that off and of course we can change the voice focus if we wanted to and these are actually really simple to set up as well if we open up our blank page yet again we can then delete this and type in wavelength and if you're using wavelength 2.0 i assume this is a brand new update we can just drag over one of the effects then go down here select toggle effect input microphone and then effect for me my effects are right down here at the bottom we have the pip boy voice effect we have a voice changer here and we have the black ops 6 voice modifier so these are just my different effects that i've got set up if you don't have them downloaded and set up tap get more audio effects and then you'll be taken yet again to elgato's marketplace where you can download the pip boy voice effect or the black ops voice changer oh this one's new tiny foam Ooh. I'm going to need to try this one out. To customize the effect, just tap the little gear icon right here and it'll open it up. Make all the changes you need to each of the voice effects or the plugins. They each have their own interface. So play around with all the settings, get it set up to how you want to, and then make sure that you have the voice mode enabled and then disable it in here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to toggle it on and off through Stream Deck. And then, of course, just make sure you have the effect that you want to be able to toggle turned on right here i'm sure you guys already know how to set up folders and stuff like that at this point but just on the off chance you don't go up to the search bar type in folder and then just drag this one create folder over here and then when you click onto it you have a folder next up we have music and sound effects and these follow the same kind of principles so if we open music we have uh, some music that will play when you tap a button so we've got some nice sad guitar music to get us in a bit of a melancholy mood you know what i mean or maybe you don't want that one maybe you want something a little bit more upbeat you want some funky hype music huh how's that 
pretty cool. To add these, you're literally just going to want to go and type in play audio and it comes with the Stream Deck. Drag that over. You'll be able to select your file. Let's just say we want uh, this one here, the Sad Country Song. Throw that in there. You can adjust the volume at which it plays. You can add a fade if that's something you feel like you need. And you can even change its own output. So if you're trying to keep all of your music at a very specific level, just add that to your music output and it will follow all of the effects and stuff that you have set up for that. Same thing with the sound effects. We have a couple of things here. So we have a little oh no and then we've got a little bing and then of course one of my favorites shout out to all the gamers yeah so again you can customize all of these it's the same thing here just the play audio and the soundboard plugin open up the file adjust any settings you need to there is naturally an option called play and stop which does exactly what it says in the tin play and overlap could be good for people who really want to annoy others just tapping the button again It's a really easy way to lose followers. Okay, so you've got Spotify set up. Your music is good to go for all of your streams and content creation stuff. You've got voice changes, music, and sound effects. What on earth are these things? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> All of these dials on the Stream Deck Plus control the audio sources that are going out to the stream and what you're listening to. Now, let's say you have a bunch of sources. You have PC audio, you have gaming, you have your stream mix, you have microphone volume, chat, music. You've got a bunch of different stuff that you're trying to monitor all the time. It can get very difficult, <laughs> to say the least, to balance all of those and interact with each one of those things, right? Let me show you a better way of doing it, specifically with the Stream Deck Plus. You can kind of do it on the normal Stream Deck, but it just this works better with the dials. So this dial right here is actually, if we type this in here, a dial stack, which means that we can adjust it naturally. And this is my monitor mix. This is what I hear when I've got my headphones on or when it's coming through my speakers, and we can turn that up to 100%. But because we're using a dial stack, we can just push in and it changes to my stream mix. And you can actually see this in real time. We can turn mine all the way down like so, and then push in and we can change the streams. Now, I will show you how to set all these up in a second, just bear with me, but it is worth saying that I also have these dial stacks set up for this one and this one. And the reason for that is remember how I was saying you could have a bunch of different audio sources, PC, music, and gameplay, chat volume, all this stuff that we have, we don't have enough dials for all of that. So again, using the dial stack, we can adjust the PC volume, which is the system audio, and you can see that going up and down here. But then if we push into it, we can change the music by itself. So again, let's move this over and we can see that just the music goes down now. Same thing with this one right here. We can adjust the game volume by itself and then we push into it and then we can adjust the chat audio. So hopefully this helps you understand how the dial stacks work. Sometimes it takes a little while to get used to what is where. <laughs> Trying to remember, okay, where's my game volume gone? Why can I only see chat? But using all of these in conjunction with each other when you don't have like 10 different stream decks to do each one individually, it helps. It speeds up the process. But the dial stacks are super simple. You grab the dial stack, drag it over, and it opens like a multi-action window, the same thing that you've seen with multi-actions. Then we're going to type in Wavelink, and that will come up with our inputs, outputs, etc. Choose the devices and the sources that you want to kind of group together. So for this, we're going to go to the output tab and drag just one over for now. And you can see that we can adjust the monitor mix straight away. I like putting this at around 5%, and you can change the name of it if you want to. So let's call that monitor. Then we're going to copy this one and paste it here. That way it retains all of the changes we made. And then we can just change this one, the output to stream mix. And of course, change the name to stream. And just like that, you now have your functioning dial that switches between your stream audio and your monitor audio. Let's do the same thing again with the dial stack over here, like so. And this time, if we want to change individual things like system and gameplay and music, etc., these are inputs. I realized that my face was blocking off half of this section. I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and grab an input. And then we're going to go and select system audio. Bring that back up to 5%. Call it system. Copy it. Paste it. And then we're going to group the system audio dial with the music. That to me makes sense, but again, you could just go into Stream Deck if you really wanted and just throw a bunch of these all together and have <laughs> one dial that controls everything, but it means you have to keep pushing the dial to be able to scroll through them all. Then the final thing that you need to worry about is your microphone volume, because sometimes you're going to be too loud, too quiet. You may need to adjust it depending on what's going on in scene, if you're playing games and things like that. Now, I like to keep my gain at around about 20%. This isn't a dial stack. This is just a standard dial action that goes up and it goes down. It's super simple. <laughs> 
Creating this one is incredibly simple. You want to type in Wavelink up here. Once again, define the plugin, select device, drag it down, and then you're going to go to adjust gain right here. Turn it up to 3%. That works fine, I suppose. Then when you turn it right, it goes up by 3%. And when you turn it left, it goes down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But what if you want to do all of this on the normal Stream Deck that doesn't have dials? Again, for me, it's not as fluid. Aesthetically, it doesn't work as well. And you may have to have different profiles and pages and things like that, but it is possible. So in case you forgot, this is what everything looks like on the normal Stream Deck. As you can tell, it's it's a little bit cluttered. It's all very together. But we have all the stuff I showed you before. We have the Spotify controls and we have the voice changes, music and sound effects. Plus up here, there's a little mute button. These buttons here control the gain of the microphone and these control the input volume for just the gameplay. But you could change this out for just controlling the music. You could set up a multi-action to increase and decrease game and music. So let me show you how to set up these buttons. Just bear with me because it is a bit of an arduous process. <laughs> we have our blank profile right here. And let's start by controlling the input and the output for the monitoring and the stream audio. We're going to combine them together and change that one. In the Wavelink plugin, yet again, we're going to go and grab a output and we're going to change this to adjust. Then we're going to go to all rather than just monitor or just the stream mix, select all. And then we're going to keep this one at plus five percent. Give it a title. Let's call this multi mix. Then we're going to copy it, bring it down here and paste it. Then all you have to change at this point is dragging that plus five percent down to negative five percent. And just like that, you have a toggle that controls both of these at one time. Now, what if we wanted to do inputs like the music and the system and the gameplay, but also what if we wanted to group them together to change multiple things at once? Well, again, this one's pretty simple. If we want to do one by one, we do the input just like we've done before. Adjust system plus five, call it system copy, bring it down, paste, and then negative five rather than plus. And that would work just by itself. But if you want to change multiple things, let's get rid of the wavelength bit up here. And then we're going to type in multi action, which is this guy right here search for Wavelink. And let's say we want to change the gameplay and the music with one button. Go to input, drag that one over, adjust, same thing that we've done before. And we're going to go to the Elgato 4KX for the gameplay, plus five. Then we're going to copy this one, paste it underneath, and then we'll change that to music and keep that at plus five. Now that is your multi-action that adds things together. I recommend changing the icon because you could get a little bit confused here. I have way too many icons. I'm now realizing this. <laughs> then we're just going to copy this, paste it underneath, open it up, and then we just change the plus to minus like we have on everything else before, but we're just doing it for everything in this multi-action like so. And then you have the option to toggle multiple sources at one time using one button. And that's pretty much it. That's how you control Wavelink with the Stream Deck. So in this one episode of Stream Deck Secrets, you've learned how to control Spotify, adjust your voice changes, play music, play sound effects, set everything up with dial stacks, change your microphone volume, mute things. And that is for both the Stream Deck Plus and your standard Stream Deck. All right, I'm going to wrap this episode of Stream Deck Secrets up here. But again, if you want a full guide on how to set up Wavelink and change all these effects and what's new in the Wavelink 2.0 update, which I think is one of the best things that Elgato have ever made, there'll be a link down in the description and a card on screen somewhere. Plus, if you don't have a Stream Deck or an Elgato mic, which lets you use things like the voice focus effect, there'll be affiliate links down in the description, which helps support everything we do on the channel. It helps keep this series going. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Stream Deck Secrets. I love your faces. You're amazing and beautiful. And I will catch you in the next one.